happening today if you travel by subway. A major renovation project could affect your plans this morning and in the months ahead. It involves service between Manhattan and Queens. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook joins us live from Long Island City with what you need to know this morning. Hi, Elijah. Hey, good morning, Chris and Mary. So we know that some of this can be very confusing, but this morning we're here to ease that confusion there. So if you're someone who takes the F or M train, you're going to get off here at the Queens Plaza subway station and then walk across the street to some of these shuttle buses that you see here on Jackson Avenue. Those shuttle buses are temporary replacements for the F train. That will take you to either one of two stops, 21st Street, Queens Bridge, or Roosevelt Island. It is at that location where you will get off and then hop on an F train. Train that will continue into Manhattan. Again, I know some of this is a little confusing, but we got you covered. So take a look at this. So F trains are being rerouted via the E and M line, and the M will be partially suspended between Rockefeller Center and Forest Hills 71st Avenue. Again, this is all because of construction uh, aimed at helping to improve the reliability of some of these signals, third rail, and other infrastructure in those tunnels. Now, due to the constraints, you'll likely notice the E, F, and M trains will not operate as as frequently as customers are used to. During this time, some F trains will operate as a shuttle between Lexington Avenue, 63rd Street, and 21st Street, Queensbridge. Now, the MTA hasn't given us an exact time frame, but predicts work will be finished during the first quarter of 2024. That could be as far out as March of next year. But again, back out here live, keep in mind these shuttle buses will likely be part of your commute if you're coming from or going to this part of town. Uh, it's been relatively quiet, but we do plan on trying to speak with some commuters this morning to see how they are navigating these changes. And that's the very latest from Long Island City, Queens. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.